previous lesson introduced us to the Paleolithic period that spanned from roughly 2 million years ago to 12,000 years ago. In that lesson, we got to know how people during the Paleolithic period used to make stone tools. These people were also hunter-gatherers and they lived near sources of water. We have discussed quite a few points about the lives of the people who lived during the Paleolithic period. And we ended that lesson by asking this question, how do we know about the people who lived during the Paleolithic period? This lesson now brings us to the sources of information on the Paleolithic age. So let us now begin this very fascinating adventure and know more about the sources from where we get to know about the lives of the people during the Paleolithic period. Now archaeologists have found that during this time people used to use stone tools. Now this is a point that we have discussed at great length in the previous lesson. We also talked about how the Paleolithic age is also known as the Old Stone Age simply because people used to use stone tools. Now archaeologists have also found that these stone tools were used for different purposes and those different purposes would include the cutting of meat and bone, the scraping of bark and hides which are animal skins and the chopping of fruit and roots. These people who lived during the Paleolithic period were hunter-gatherers as we already know. And in order to hunt the animals or gather the forest produce, people required different kinds of stone tools. Now these stone tools were made and polished accordingly to suit these different purposes like cutting, scraping and chopping. In our previous lesson we learned how these people used to live in natural shelters like caves. Now the caves that we will be focusing on here are the caves of Bhimbetka. Bhimbetka is a Paleolithic site that is situated in the present day Indian state of Madhya Pradesh. So this map shows you Bhimbetka. The caves of Bhimbetka are very very important when we have to understand and trace the lives of the people who lived during the Paleolithic period. Since these primitive people lived amidst the nature, we have to take into account the geographical location of the places they lived in. In this regard, we have to talk about how the Bhimbetka caves are located close to the Narmada valley. We have learnt that during this time, people tried to live near the sources of water in order to get water for drinking purposes. Now this map shows you the river Narmada and this is the Narmada valley. Adjoining the river Narmada are the Bhimbetka caves. So this explains that people during the Paleolithic period used to live near sources of water. Now before proceeding with this lesson, let me ask you a question. Near which river are the Bhimbetka caves located? Are these located near river Ganga, river Yamuna, river Narmada or river Godavari? Well, the correct answer is river Narmada. The Bhimbetka caves are located near river Narmada. The Bhimbetka caves are spread over seven hills. There were around 750 caves or rock shelters and these run along a stretch of 10 kilometers. So can you understand how huge a site this must have been? Many people must have lived in the Bhimbetka caves during the Paleolithic period. But how do the Bhimbetka caves constitute any important source of information? As in what do we get to know from the Bhimbetka caves? In this regard, we have to focus on the paintings that have been found on the walls of these caves. These paintings are very important in helping us understand the life of prehistoric humans. 
Now, what do we get to know from these paintings? Many of these paintings depict wild animals. And you will be surprised to know that these paintings were drawn with great accuracy and skill. So, people who lived millions and millions of years ago also drew these paintings with great accuracy and skill. And fortunately, these have stood the test of time. The Bhimbetka caves are thousands and thousands of years old. And even today, we get to know about the lives of these people from these paintings. Now, if you look closely at this painting, you will be able to discern an animal here. And here is a person. And in the hand of this person, you can see something like a weapon. And this image shows us a hunting scene in a better way. So, this must be some animal that is trying to flee away and these people are trying to hunt that animal. So, just from the paintings on these cave walls, we are able to understand so much about the lives of these prehistoric humans. In the process of deciphering these paintings on the cave walls, Archaeologists have been able to understand more and better about the lives of these people. Now, many paintings depict different kinds of life scenes of these primitive people. And these life scenes would include hunting, dancing, collecting fruits and honey. So, can you understand how from these paintings alone, we are able to construct how these people lived their lives as hunter-gatherers. Now, the Bhimbetka caves are very important Paleolithic sites and in turn, these provide us very crucial information on the lives of those people who lived millions of years ago. But a very important question that needs to be addressed is that who discovered the Bhimbetka caves? It cannot be possible that people already knew about the existence of the Bhimbetka caves as a major Paleolithic site in the present day Indian state of Madhya Pradesh. So, this now brings us to the discovery of the Bhimbetka caves. It was the Indian archaeologist Vishnu Sridhar Vakankar who discovered the Bhimbetka caves in the year 1957. So, these paintings on the walls of these caves tell us about the lives of these people and it was Vishnu Sridhar Vakankar who discovered these caves. Now, the Bhimbetka caves constitute a very great and crucial archaeological resource. Which is why in the year 2003, these caves were declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Now, in our previous lesson, we also learnt about the discovery of fire that happened in the Paleolithic period. Now, how do we know that people during this period used fire? For this, there are certain sources as well. And the sources that we are referring to in this regard are the Kurnul Caves. The Kurnul Caves are situated in the present day Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. And in the Kurnul Caves, traces of ash have been found. And these traces of ash suggest that fire was used by people in the Paleolithic period. This now brings us to an end of our discussion on the sources of Paleolithic period. Here we learnt about different kinds of archaeological sources like stone tools and these tell us how people used to hunt animals. We also learnt about how cave paintings play a major role in helping us construct the lives of prehistoric humans and in this regard we focused on the cave paintings at the Bhimbetka caves. Along with that, we also talked about the traces of ash that have been found at the Kurnul Caves and this tells us that fire was also used by the people who lived back then. But do we still continue to live the way these prehistoric humans used to do? Most definitely not. 
in our subsequent lesson we will try to trace different changes that took place in the world which in turn shaped human history don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so register for free now